More than a week after the resignation of Eric Shinseki, there are many people still asking just how serious are the problems in the VA system and how exactly do we fix them? A series of reports by CNN expose the sometimes deadly delays veterans face when they try and get medical care. Our veterans are American heroes. Well, with me now is Brigitte McCoy. She founded an organization to help and support women's veterans. Brigitte, thanks for being with me. Such an important topic. You know, you hear this and you say, was it really a new organization that it took to discover that this problem was going on a problem that you say has been going on for decades it has been going on for decades and and in Palo Alto we've had a reporter report on uh, deaths happening there it ha it's happening across the country this is not something that's just happening in one isolated place this is happening across the country with our veterans let's talk about this red tape specific examples some of the women that have come to you what have they said they have faced well, with some of the women, uh, if you have a personality disorder diagnosis that was given to you after you exited the military, you can't use the VA services. If you are a National Guardsman and you leave the service, you don't have the right to use the VA services. So there are a lot of people who are not eligible to receive services at the VA. So it's it's. It's challenging to me to see that the people who are eligible are not even receiving the services. Yes, yeah, so due. so right, you're saying they cut out even a big pool of people to even get treated. Yes. Have you had women come to you and say, "Wait, I'm on this waiting list. I have a detrimental situation. I need help now, and I'm not getting it." We've had uh, women who've had heart conditions who've had to literally leave from one state and go to another state and get treatment outside of the VA to get treated. We've had women who have uh, things. Even here in Atlanta, the Atlanta VA, we don't have like things like a mammogram. They ha they bring in a truck to, to you know, handle that. But as far as being able to handle those types of services, OBGYN is separate from the Women's Center. I mean, there's all these different things that are, are, are compartmentalized, which creates more problems because you have to go to one person to get approved to go to the other clinic. You don't just go up to the clinic and say, I need to be seen at endocrinology or our OBGYN, you have to be, you know, give a consult for that. All the while, you have a health condition that yes. needs to be treated and every day counts when it's a serious one. But what do you do? I mean, that's the big question, right? And when you've experienced this, what would you say needs to be done to improve the system? Well, I think that um, upper level management needs to be shifted around. What most people don't understand is that, uh, that less than a third of the population that works at the VA are veterans. And so I would really want to see what those numbers look like when you get into senior level executives who are running the VA. How many of those people are actually veterans who are mm -hmm. offering these services to veterans? And people are saying, well, we don't want veterans to go outside of the VA because they're getting these specialized services for veterans. But they're still receiving services from civilians who have yeah. never served in the military anyway. And, you know, with the fee basis system, you know, there shouldn't be a, a, anyone waiting 60, 120 days, 90 days to see a doctor. Yeah. They should be able to go outside of the VA. It's already built into the VA system. All they need is a consult, which is a process. Mm -hmm. You have to see, get in to see a doctor and then have that doctor say it's okay for you to go outside because of the, the, the delays. But we, the system already is, is, is set up so that veterans can go outside of the system if there's a delay in, in being seen. But th a lot of the, the doctors are afraid to send the, doc the, the patients out. And sometimes I wonder if it has something to do with, with a lot of the bonuses and the ma matrices with how they get their bonuses based on it, how many patients they treat and how much uh, you know, the cost is for treating those particular Well, veterans. obviously going to be a part of this investigation, which is going to take some time. Brigitte, thanks for being with me. Good to have you here. Thank you take so care. much. Thank you.